one of those hats in particular, which is your role as the chairman of the Historic Rock Hill Foundation. In other words, the Historic Rock Hill Board. Board, yes. Yep. Um, so tell me a little bit about that role, um, what your role is, and what the organization is. Okay, Historic Rock Hill has uh, been around since the 1980s. It started out with a handful of citizens who lived on Old East uh, Main Street, the Old Town area. And Rock Hill at the time was going through a renaissance where they would, uh, the corridor on Main Street would was being zoned commercial. And a lot of those old, classic, beautiful houses that were built, you know, 100 year old houses were um, being transformed into businesses. And they were losing a lot of their historic significance. So the residents of the time got together. They saw themselves meeting at zoning meetings all the time. And next thing they know, they started getting together on Friday nights. Uh, neighborhood picnics and started scheming about doing ways to preserve the history in Rock Hill. Uh, And then that's what they started doing. They got to the point in the 80s where they were actually helping families buy these old houses to facilitate the preservation projects and started giving out awards for the best preservation award and whatnot. And then about in uh, 2005, the historic white home, the white family uh, house was available. And the White Home was arguably the most significant, one of the most significant historic houses in Rock Hill. Mm-hmm. When the family couldn't, didn't, it was the end of the rope for the family. Uh, historic Rock Hill was able to get the resources together, purchase that house in 2005, spent the next five years refurbishing it, uh, raising the money. Uh, 2010, uh, after the financial crisis, by the way, it was interesting how all that happened. Uh, Historic Rock Hill had the house totally remodeled uh, and made the decision at the time to keep the white home. So 2010 to now, Historic Rock Hill is still preserving history by keeping up the white home. (laughs) And there's not a, and it's a beautiful house, a beautiful facility, but uh, it's, you know, all our resources now are focused on that. And we're looking forward to having ways to branch out again and, and get the collective story of Rock Hill told. So tell me a little bit about what's significant about the White Home. The White Home was the home of George and Ann White, a uh, young married couple in uh, the early 19 or 1830s. Uh, they had four children, uh, purchased the property where the White Home is now on Elizabeth Lane and White Street. Um, purchased the property in 1930, or excuse me, 1837 right when the railroad was coming into town. And this was before Rock Hill. Fortuitous timing. It was. It was great timing. So uh, they bought the property. Unfortunately, George White, helping to build the railroad at the time, he died in the early 1840s and left Anne as a widow with a hand, with four young children. And uh, and they she, is more than him, she actually built the house to where it is today. So Anne um, went through the Civil War. Uh, uh, after the Civil War, her children became predominant citizens in Rock Hill, and she donated and sold a lot of property in Rock Hill at the time. She created, uh, helped form First Presbyterian Church downtown near the fountain. Um, and so to this day, that house is there to honor and the White family for what they've done in our community. Um. If you drive by today, the White Home just looks fantastic. I mean, the 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 grounds look amazing. the The house looks great. Um, how did it look when y'all first, or when the historic was, Rock Hill first took over the property? Well, I remember growing up uh, with with the White family. I mean, the Whites who lived in that house went to church with us at First Presbyterian, and so you know they had kids, and we go over there and hang out and play. Uh, but the house became really very run down. And uh, it was it was really good timing for Historic Rock Hill to have the opportunity to bring it back to its, um, uh, this status that we want it to be, what we see today. So it is a phenomenal place now, but before it was a mess. So when did you first start becoming involved with the foundation? I was started with Historic Rock Hill actually before his before the White Home, mm-hmm. uh, and rotated off, um, but got back involved again about six or seven years ago. Okay. Um, 
Getting back to the white home real quick. So what what is it actually used for today? Today we use the white home as a vent space. Okay. Uh, we it's a gorgeous place to have a wedding venue. Uh, the gardens outside are phenomenal, uh, as well as any other corporate events that are that we have in downtown Rock Hill. It's one of the very few green spaces. is is four or five acres of green space that's in downtown Rock Hill today. Yeah, and it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um, what times are is the White Home ever available to the public for a tour just to come see it and kind of learn more about the property? Yeah, we are. You know, during the summer hours are kind of scarce, so it's always good to go online and give us a phone call to check and make sure. But if you'd like to get organized tours uh, or drop by, we're constantly facilitating that. Does it cost anything to come in? $5 a tour. Okay. Yep. Um, 